In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the AC condenser on this Nissan Pathfinder. For this job, you will need to have your system professionally evacuated so that all the AC refrigerant is out of there. You don't want to open any lines with AC refrigerant still in the system. So let's get started. To remove this shield, you're going to have a bunch of push clips that go all the way around. So grab a trim tool, pop the center out, and then pull the rest of the trim clip up and out and just go around and remove all of them. With all of them removed, you can lift this piece right up and out. Now we have to remove this bracket here to basically make space to pull things away. And in order to do that, I'm gonna start by disconnecting the hood latch cable. The hood latch, I'm actually gonna leave on the radiator support. So I'm just going to disconnect the cable, that way it doesn't get damaged at all. The easiest way to do this is to pinch these two tabs here, or you can press them in with a trim tool, screwdriver, whatever you have. Once you press these in, you should be able to slide the cable through, just like that, and then unhook it. Since we're here, let's remove this 8mm headed bolt. And then looking towards the front, where this release lever is, you'll have two 13mm bolts to remove. This will allow us to get this bracket off of here, which will actually provide enough clearance for us to get right down here and remove this bracket. It's a little bit difficult to see down here. If you want to, you can pull the grill away. Uh, it should have a couple clips at the top. Mine are broken, so it easily pulls away. But you have two 10 millimeter bolts right here that need to be removed. There's the bracket. And try not to lose the bolt down there. There's the bolt. Well, both of them. Set this aside. Using some pliers, pull this clamp away so we can unhook the overflow hose. This a lot of times gets stuck here. You can twist it very gently with the pliers, but be very careful not to damage anything. We are obviously reusing this, so set this aside. If you want to, you can pull this through, although it is not necessary, so I'm gonna leave it here. Holding the radiator and the AC condenser, they're bolted together, is an eight millimeter bolt here on this bracket. Remove this, pull the bracket away, and do the same to the other side, same bracket, same bolt. Now I want to remove the eight millimeter bolt holding the AC condenser onto the radiator so I can separate the two. There's one on each side. Now this should be able to pull away, perfect. Towards the driver's side, you'll see this electrical connector here. Press on the tab and let's disconnect it. There we go. On the passenger side, this is gonna be pretty difficult to see. There is a bolt that holds on this bracket that holds on both of these lines onto the AC condenser. It's a 10 millimeter headed bolt. We have to remove said bolt. Doing that will allow us to pull the lines away. You'll need a deep socket or a short socket with an extension to actually get there. <clears throat> Mine was actually very tight, so I had to switch to a bigger ratchet just to break it free. Once it's free, you should be able to remove it. Now with a vacuum pulled on the system, when you, now with the system evacuated, at the end the machine should pull a vacuum. So when you disconnect the first line, you may hear a hissing noise. Don't be alarmed because that is not pressure, that is vacuum. So once you have this bolt out, you should be able to remove this bracket and unless they're stuck, the lines should want to pop out of the AC condenser. There we go. You can set these lines aside. On the back side of this radiator support, if you just follow the AC lines, you'll see where they join into this connector right here. With a 10 millimeter socket, you can remove that bolt. Perfect, fell on the ground, I'll get that in a second. But now, you can separate this bracket here and separate these lines that go through the uh, radiator support so you can get more movement in them. As you get it unbolted, if you're having trouble separating it, you can usually stick a screwdriver right here and very gently pry these apart. There we go, that's one line. This line is broken free, it just doesn't wanna slide out very easily. 
There we go. I always recommend replacing any O-rings on AC systems every time you uh, move them or disconnect the line. Regardless, you want to be careful with them. Now you can pull the lines out through the front and this gives you quite a bit more space to work with here with the AC condenser. Now you should be able to pull the AC condenser right up and out. Now take your AC condenser, carefully slide it down. It has two tabs on the bottom that need to slide into the radiator. Now take your lines that go through the core support, feed them back through. Line them up with the AC condenser if you want to at this point, or you can wait. It's always a good idea to lubricate the O-rings with some PAG oil. That's a, uh, a special type of oil made for AC systems. When you put these in, don't force them. Make sure they slide in smoothly. That's why it's good to lubricate them a little bit, just like that. If you force them, you could tear the O-ring and of course damage the lines or the fitting or anything like that. You want to avoid that. And when it comes to connecting these lines over here, you want to do the same thing. Check the O-rings, lubricate if necessary, and make sure they line up properly before you uh, tighten that bolt. There's one. All right, and two. Put the bolt in. When you tighten this bolt, just make it snug. You want to let the O-rings do the sealing. If you crush it down, you could break it or strip the threads, and then you'll have a leak here, and then you'll have to replace more parts. So, there we go. Just make it nice and snug. That's all you need. Now it's time to put this bolt back in over here. This one's difficult to reach and difficult to see, and you want to make sure that it's lined up and not cross-threading. It should go in nice and smooth. If it's not, it's most likely cross-threading. And this being aluminum, it's easy to do that. So you want to make sure it's not and that it holds on nice and tight. I know it's not completely bottomed out. That's fine. You don't want to pull them in the whole way with the bolt. So make this nice and snug right there. That's perfect. Just like the other lines, you want to let the O-ring do the sealing, not the tightness of the bolt. So as long as it's tight, nice and snug, you're good to go. Once the lines are in, get this AC condenser lined up, put the bolt through. This was the eight millimeter headed bolt and snug it up. Before you finish tightening up that side, make sure you put this one in also. That way you make sure that they're both seated. Now that they're both in, you can tighten them both up. Nice and snug. And you can go back to the other side, snug that side up as well. Once it gets snug, stop. You don't want to break anything or strip the fitting out. On the old AC condenser, we need to remove this sensor. Use a 24 wrench or socket, break it free. It shouldn't be too tight. Once you break it free, it should be easily removed by hand. Take that O-ring and replace it. And on the new AC condenser, you have this 14 millimeter plug covering the hole. Remove it. And once you've put a new O-ring on the sensor, thread it on, make sure it goes on smoothly. You don't want this to cross thread. Once you have it bottomed out, just give it a very quick snug. I'm using a 24 millimeter socket. That's it, about an eighth of a turn. You don't want to completely crush that O-ring, otherwise it will not seal up, it'll break, and then you'll have a leak. And now we can finally reconnect this piece. Put this hose back on the radiator, and let's bring the clamp over. And put that right there. Take the brackets that hold the radiator, put those back on. These had an eight millimeter headed bolt. And same on this side. Now let's put this bracket back on. This had the two 10 millimeter bolts right down here. Before I tighten those two up, I'm gonna line this one up and uh, start it in. This will basically allow me to position it perfectly. I'm gonna tighten this one up first. This is the uh, eight millimeter headed one. And the two tens. And finally, these two right here for the safety release for the hood, two 13 millimeter headed bolts. Let's connect the cable, hook the ball in, and then pull this out all the way. 
This should be able to slide down in here, just like that, and then through. Let's put this piece back. Once you line it up, put all the push clips back in, snap them down, and lock them in. Now that the job is complete, you're going to want to test drive the vehicle. And of course, since we removed the AC refrigerant, you're going to want to have it professionally refilled. It is very important that the proper amount of refrigerant and PAG oil is in the system so everything can function. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.